Hello everybody and welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. We're going to start episode 3 today. We found some pretty disturbing stuff in the Open Arms Motel. Let's see what we can find today. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be much better. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly. It's her sister Lily. She was hooking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god! What is it? <gasps> it's... Crane. Indeed, and that's where we were last time. Even the lamp looks like her dress. Did you notice this? That piece of shit. That motherfucking piece of shit. Crane? Ugh. God, you think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! What did Beast disappear off to? Oh, there he is. What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... I just need to I find the phone Snow. Wasn't working. Why? What's going on? Shit! The crane's been... <laughs> oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Crane might be following Snow. If I can find her, I can... God damn it! Okay, it's, it's going to be okay. But where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? Exactly. I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. What, what are you doing, Beast? You're in all these different Big places me? that nobody expects you to be. Wait. So there's a story there, I suppose. What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful when you tell her. And you should tell her, but... What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Mm hmm... Is it, though? It'll be different, I think. All right. Time to break up a funeral. Lily had many friends, but few fables she was truly close to. If you're here, then you were part of Is a very Lawrence? special circle. People she trusted and cared for. No. I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it will never subside. Stop him. But I also know that that the memory of Lily. Your Highness. Is well. Oh, and uh, Sheriff. Time, I'm sorry. I uh, I old enough. About as well as you think. I haven't had any other um. It's never been as bad as when you saw me, at least. I was angry at first when I heard that Lily was getting a funeral. Now Holly was getting closure. I wanted that too. And I wanted it for Faith, but then I remembered 
Faith lived a story Lily never did. She had her adventure. She got to live in the light of forever after with me. For a while. So let Lily have the better finish. I'm sorry, Lawrence. I know, Sheriff. And thanks for saving my life. Take care of it. Okay? Try not to and die, because we'll I'd like to uh, moment of silence. keep having saved Thank you. you. That'd be nice. Okay, fine. We'll wait. We'll wait. Let's look at the stuff on the table then. Look, she played Skyrim apparently. What's this? Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's he wasn't fucking invited. Holly, well, I didn't wait. come here because I wanted he has to. No right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry. But I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, what? and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Hmm. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. Mm -hmm. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Oh, oh. Everything okay? I don't want to say I think I know who murdered them, because then they're all going to come after to Crane. Snow. Oh. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes, Holly. This is serious. Okay. Okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat far away from the ceremony, all right? Look, Holly, I know how this must... No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Stay right there, Lawrence. Or go sit next to Gwen either way. This better be wildly important. Wildly. It's been hard enough making a connection with these people. Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. We should go. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Pretty sure. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Narissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um... No, I understand. No, I get it. Take your time. We're so it won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? Uh, yeah, thanks. I, uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. I'm not gonna tell you what we found. Nerissa! Yeah, um, uh, coming! Come, 
constable. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? Now is really not the time for whatever you Jagovs are planning to do. Jagovs? Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. You're trying to pull this shit at a funeral? We can deal with this later. No, not later. Later's too late. Right now. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Fine. Yeah, fine. I'll leave Crane alone. Just get out of here. Pleasure to hear it. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're happy to report that everything went smoothly. So if you'll just allow us to get out of your hair... Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? I said, all right already. Just go. And go we shall as men of our work. Sure. We won't ruin any more of the wedding or whatever. Oh. oh dear, what did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers can come here uninvited? You think you can just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It's just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Polly, don't move. It's not worth it, Holly. They'll leave on their own. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. Oh, I'm gonna kill you! I got it done! Oh no, no you don't. Oh no you didn't, because we're not having any of that today. There you go. Lawrence, you might want to duck, because I think you're on the short list to uh, be the next person to die. Well, at least all three of us got shot. Even Steven. And we're back here. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <sighs> okay. Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? They all make it? They're fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. The Titans, baby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Eat more Look, chicken. I'm not the one who creates the situations. I'm just the one who has to deal with them. So you say. 
Business office. I know, I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. Yes. So, to recap. <laughs> Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. That's the plan? Just wait for the mirror? It's all we have right now. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it, but... Nah. Do you really think he killed those He's women? Coward. I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver, a, a coward, a liar, and I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly... I mean, even worse than it did. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask you a question? Sure. It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you. Sure. It's just... When stuff hits the fan, like like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city. It feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know... Why even bring this up? I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, what are you trying to say? Uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... Buffkin, are you positive it's not here? Maybe it just slid under one of these cabinets. No, I'm sure it's not here. I checked every corner. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. What did you want to say just now? Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. How? I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. Hmm. See anything else? You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Not especially. All right, fine. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. Now, let's see the rummaging around in the desk. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, a 
that's a familiar looking key. 207. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. Well, you saw the photo. I want to know. I think it's better if you don't know. Don't coddle me, okay? I've seen more than you know. There's only so much you can repress, you know? What else is there? Come on, let's keep looking. Hmm. Well, fine, let's open this drawer here. <laughs> Office business partners, yada yada. The ring of There's a page here that was torn out. Oh yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you, glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. <laughs> he set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me I called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. Thanks for letting him know that, Buffkin. A.M. You're very helpful. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane challenge. is going to see a witch and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing! You're a secretary! He's the sheriff! And none of you were chosen to run this office! Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. Oh yeah, sure. <sighs> All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. 2 a.m. Piece of cake. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else? The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyways. No, so... chances are you won't have time. Oh, well. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, alright? 
I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, just stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things up further. I can't get any more messed up. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what you it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. <laughs> He's less than two feet away. Where are you you can totally go, hear what you're saying. All right. Uh, Crane's apartment or Lily? Is that right? Hmm. By the way, quick observation. I noticed that Snow sounds just like Bonnie. So you leave Crane alone, I want to go then we apartment. leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some. And I think Bigby has a voice to the guy who voiced Roman. No. For 400 days. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. Uh, I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. I'm gonna go to a Holly's bar. No. No, I'm better off dealing with things. The witch's identity must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. You do that. I'll check in with you later. Also, there's somebody calling. I hope you know what you're doing. As always. <laughs> She's asleep, you fucking idiot. Guys, it's me, Bigby. Hey, that was easy. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Mm. Well, come on in, buddy. Brent, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah, sure. Thanks. These two always seem to find each other. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Probably not. Grant, really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Well, he's gonna do what he's gonna do anyway. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. Have you seen her sister's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? I saw her come in with something, but I didn't see where she put it. Nope, haven't seen it. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Hmm. Where was the woodsman? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. And we're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. No, 
now. Yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded. Fine. If it'll make you feel better. To the dead. All right, now help me. Oh. Every glass here has to break sometime. Ren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it, it's done! Oh, you two. <clears throat> I'm just going to get over whatever you're doing. What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? Cut this shit out now. I don't care what it's about. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a lowlife. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. I don't have any No, that's okay. Cause I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat hairy ass. That's what he thinks. Hmm. It's not too far off, but still. Bit harsh. Gren. I don't know where Lily's shit is. Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. If I can't find her stuff, I might have. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. <laughs> Gwen won't remember this. Well, not surprising. alcohol well actually i'm gonna call it here we'll do the investigation next time i'm gonna say thanks for watching hope you're enjoying it and turn around a little bit there we are and see you next time bye bye for now